Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Code This, Not That with a weekly challenge on arrays. I'll just show you a sample instance of JSON object in the array we are going to use in this challenge. As you can see, we have an array of food items mixed with fruits, veggies, meat, and some junk foods too. Well, here's the challenge. You need to write a function that will return based on the following conditions. Since this is the first week, I'll make it a bit simple for you. Fetch only the red fruits and the first vegetable that you come across. Also, no repetitive items. I don't want any junk food or I don't want any meat. Sort them out as an array of string concatenated with their icon and name. So I believe you are thinking to use something like a for loop or maybe for each loop if you are old school. But for those who have been bringing together the pieces of higher order functions like map filter to solve this, we are already in for a head start. Well, that comes from ES6, ECMA standard 6. Now let's write a challenge function. We'll take in the food items array and first filter out, out for red fruits. I'm just going to destructure the entire object for color and type since that will be sufficient enough. All we have to do is assert and return a true value for it to be added to a new array. Now, in order to add the first vegetable, I'll spread this array to a new one to push the vegetable using find operator. I think type will be more than sufficient for this function. Since find returns the first match, all we need to do is check whether the type is vegetable. Now it's quite easy to alter the contents of an array with a map operator. I'm simply going to return a string literal with a name and icon. Now to handle the repetitive items, I'll use a set keyword with new. Lastly, we'll use sort. An interesting fact is that sort works in assembling by default, so not much configuration is required. This outputs all these items that have been expected in the challenge. Quite interesting, huh? Now, time for a bonus item, array.reduce. The reduce method executes a reducer function on each element of array, resulting a single output value. I'll use the reduce on existing function to determine the number of fruits and veggies. First, I'll take an accumulator and value. I think type will be more than sufficient and we'll check whether it's fruit. If so, we'll increment the count of fruit by one or we'll do the same for veggies. Also, it's important to provide an initial value to prevent undefined accumulators. Well, here's your output. I guess that's quite interesting. We'll have a quick glance at the array methods we came across. Throughout this entire challenge, we used filter, find, map, reduce, sort, spread the operators, and remove duplicates using set. If you liked it, do leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Until next time, this is Surin signing off.